Hey there. I do want to make some more positive videos. But there's something that I learned when I was in Eureka. And it's a very important lesson. And you can see me struggling with this for at least the past two years of my making videos. And that's... If I am only focusing on positive things and ignoring all the negative things, it comes and bites me in the ass later. Those negative things will eventually build up and overwhelm me. It's happened to me over and over and over again. When I was in Eureka that first week, all I saw were positive things. I was in t happy tears almost every day. And then the negative things came and bit me in the ass and completely overwhelmed me because I wasn't paying attention to them. Okay, this sort of thing has happened to me in so many situations. When I was living with Tyler, same sort of thing, Tyler and the Bears. When I first got there and things seemed so great and things were so wonderful and I was ignoring the negative things. And then the negative things started biting me in the ass. And then, sooner or later, I ended up, well, so, well anyway, eventually I, all I could see were the negative things. And that sucks too. because That's a really nasty downward spiral that, that can be created out of that. So, I have to look at both positive and negative things. And when it comes to my videos, I need to make videos. I need to, you know, look at the positive and negative things that are around and express those things. So I do want to make more positive videos, but they're not all going to be positive. And that's kind of an unrealistic expectation to put onto myself. And an unrealistic expectation to expect you to expect on me. Yeah, that's kind of worded weird, but... Uh, so, um, the last video that I made, the, the, the negative video that I made, was basically me just trying to say that, hey, you know, I make fun of and have problems with equally, uh, well, well, I try to, well, I guess not equally, but I have problems with all sides of, of some sort of issue. You know, I there's a lot of things about Democrats and liberals that I don't like. There's a lot of there's a ton of things about Republicans that I don't like. There's a shit ton of things about libertarians that I don't like. There's a bunch of things about feminism I don't like. There's a bunch of things about MG Taos I don't like. There's a bunch of things about MRAs I don't like. Now just in general, I just think now when it comes to uh, uh, heterophobia, homophobia, uh, transphobia, racism, those kinds of things, I don't think there's really anything positive you can say about those things. Maybe some people can try to stretch it so there, there are, but I, I just don't think there's anything positive about those things. So, I don't know. Um, there are certain things that I like to call out. Um... But still, I mean, one of the first things I was trying to, to do when I got back here to Tacoma and was starting to make this format of videos again is, you know, I'm sick of the debate between feminists and anti-feminists. I'm just sick of the whole thing. I'm also sick of the atheism versus religion kind of debates. Sick of them. Um, you know, if I remember, if I, I have this book ready... I have this book ready right here <laughs> for if ever I am in a hangout and someone starts spewing uh, uh, stuff about the Bible and I start quoting the Bible, that'll make, I'll just whip this book out, open it up and start quoting from it. Because I, I just think I, it's, it's, it's gotten old for me, it's gotten old. And maybe it's wrong for me to suggests that it should be old for everyone else. And I guess that's kind of what I've been doing. I've been kind of suggesting it should be old for everyone else. The feminism versus MRAs, that should be old for everyone else. No, it's old for me. It's old for me. I'm tired of it. And I shouldn't try to suggest what... I mean, I'm realizing that these videos I've been making lately have been almost, kind of suggesting what should be important to, to other people. And that's not right. That's not right of me. 
I just know it's not important to me anymore. And this stuff doesn't really have an effect on me. And uh, so I should discuss the things that do have an effect on me. Um, when I'm in a hangout and some person starts to play that uh, Christian hillbilly game, like uh, God Twin was with me uh, in a hangout, who I have blocked now, um, and does this thing where he wants to spew something, and then when you try to ask him a direct question, he will start the story over and over and over again. It pisses me off. It makes me angry. And I needed to vent. And I should have vented maybe a little bit differently. But everything's kind of a live and learn, you know? Live and learn, and then you get loves. <laughs> anyway, um, so, you know, the one thing about my channel that you'll notice is when I realize that I'm wrong about something, I admit it right away. I would prefer not to delete videos. I would prefer not to delete videos. There's been a number of times where I have when I feel I'm just so wrong that I'm embarrassed by what I've said. Um, but I don't think anything I've said over this past week has been that way. At least I hope not. <laughs> but I know that I've come from the wrong place a number of times. And uh, so I'm admitting to that now. <laughs> so uh, I'm sorry for suggesting what you should find important. I'm sorry about that. It wasn't right of me. <laughs>